Hello, this is the science behind roller coasters. First question is, what are roller coasters? Roller coasters are amusement rides for amusement parks. The first roller coasters were built in 1817. The first roller coasters were made of wood, but in 1959, Disneyland made a steel roller coaster named Matterhorn Bobsled. The next question is, what safety systems are implemented in roller coasters? Safety is always needed in roller coasters. One safety system is the block system. Roller coasters need the block system because it makes multiple trains not crash. Also, it can cause a cascade effect when all trains stopped at the end of the block. Another safety system is the programmable logic controllers, known as the PLC. The PLC or the programmable logic controllers detect faults associated with the mechanism and makes decisions to operate roller coaster elements. The next question is, why is safety important? Safety is important because a lot of roller coasters can cause accidents. Accidents can also be caused by riders or the ride operators and it could lead into bad injuries and you could be going to the hospital. The next question is, how do roller coasters work? Some people think that the roller coaster car has an engine inside them that pushes them along the track. While that is true for some roller coasters, most roller coasters use gravity to move along the track. That is an example of Newton's second law of motion. The roller coaster uses velocity and acceleration to move and sway around the track. The last question is, what kind of physics are in a roller coaster? A roller coaster involves a wealth of physics. Part of the physics of a roller coaster is the physics of work and energy. The ride often begins as a chain and motor or other mechanical device, exerts a force on the train of cars to lift the train to the top of a very tall hill. Once the cars are lifted to the top of the hill, gravity takes over and the remainder of the ride is an experience in energy transformation. At the top of the hill, the cars possesses a large quantity of potential energy. The car's large quantity of potential energy is due to the fact that they are elevated to a large height above the ground. As the cars descend the first drop, they lose much of the potential energy in accord with their loss of height. The cars subsequently gain kinetic energy.